I've been racing cars since as long as I can remember. Caring for them, studying them, pushing and testing them. So when I heard about the record-breaking Volvo P1800 with 2.7 million miles, which now has over 3.2 million miles and is still going, I wondered, how is it possible? How does a car stay on the road 20 times longer than the average car? It takes an exceptional level of care to exceed potential, to optimize output, to establish a world record that may never be broken. I've disassembled over 100 of these Volvo engines. So when I was asked to analyze the engine parts from the world's highest mileage car, what I found was simply astonishing. The camshaft, an original engine part with 2.7 million miles of use, has an amazingly low amount of wear relative to the amount of miles it has been driven. In most Volvo pushrod engines, the camshaft is lubricated by splash, not pressure. So the greatest stress within the engine is between the camshaft lobe and the lifter, making it one of the most oil-dependent engine parts. This camshaft has revolved over three billion times. A rotational lift comparison test against an unused cam confirms that the original cam produces the same lift as a cam with zero miles of use. That's just amazing. After traveling for 2.7 million miles, the cam has only worn two one thousandths of an inch. It still meets the dimensional spec of a new part a true testament to the oil. Now, as far as the lifter, another original engine part with 2.7 million miles, my analysis showed a minimal amount of wear, which is especially evident when compared to the concave wear of used lifters from another vehicle. The used lifters have three times the amount of wear with about 10% of the mileage of the world record Volvo. While the lifter has held its shape quite nicely, there is also no major pitting of the surface indicating that Castrol GTX was extremely effective in protecting the metal from both wear and fatigue. The piston from the car's engine has over two million miles of use. This piston has gone up and down inside the cylinder over six billion times. In a study done at Cambridge University, they etched down into the surface one layer at a time, analyzing each layer's elemental composition, and found the Castrol GTX had migrated below the piston surface. Quite remarkable. As we can see, there's very little carbon buildup on this piston. I've seen pistons with far fewer miles show much greater signs of carbon buildup. You can also see that there's almost no scuffing on the skirt of the piston. And the bottom of the piston has no scuffing at all. Overall, the piston is in remarkably good shape, a true testament to Castrol GTX, which clearly performed exceptionally well. In analyzing these parts, it's quite clear that their condition even after millions of miles of use, is extraordinary. To me, this is a direct result of engineering, proper maintenance, and the quality of the engine oil. Castrol GTX, the lubricant of choice in this car, extended its life 20 times longer and enabled a world record mileage achievement. So that's how this car's life was extended 20 times longer than expected and set a world record in the process. Castrol, it's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering.